Are you ready for this? A grand unveiling. Introducing Himaway, the D5 e bike. Let's bring it in out of the. Oh, yes, we're still in winter weather. Woo! Look at that baby spin. All right, we're going to do an unboxing, Kaya and myself. After I shut the door, still in a winter wonderland. This is a perfect day to unbox and put together a bike. Um, we, uh, we're supposed to have some good weather, some sunny weather, so I'd like to get it out on the road, take it for a spin, run it through some, uh, some trials, huh? And check out the scenery. So, all right. Himaway D5. I'm pretty excited to do this one because I did a Himaway bike last year and it was a really good bike. It was probably one of the, the top bikes I did last, ooh, 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 last year. <laughs> um, all right, okay. So, um, uh, so I can see the seat here and I already like it. Kind of, for me, e-bikes, are about sitting down, kind of, and, and enjoying the ride. And this got, it's got like a huge bike seat. Nice cushy rubber. Going to be cushy on my, you know what. Okay, I'll just quickly uh, open the box, see what we've got in here for parts. I was a little disappointed. Last year when I did a, a Hemaway, they included a hat. I didn't see one in the box, in the packaging. But anyway, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll just go right along here. I'll show the components that come in here. <laughs> Him away. Oh, are you kidding me? Let's open this up. Now I'm complete, you know what I'm saying? All right, that's cool. Put this hat away. All right. So this is really packed nicely so it doesn't like move around any of the parts. There's a headlight, a bracket, mounting bracket. Uh, that's a derailleur protector. I'll add that on. What do we got here? All the nuts and bolts. Screws are packaged well. That's nice. It, it, packing it this tight uh, doesn't allow it to get scratched up. Bike pedals. Charging box. Uh, charging the charger. <laughs> Directions. I will look at that. Himaway safety check. The front axle made to... Uh, it's a quick connect. I like that. Bell. <laughs> what is here? That is very simple. All the hex wrenches, Allen wrenches that you need to put it together. And the headlight, woo, with a reflector, oh, and one wrench. You know that's going to be bright. Wow. Okay. I guess we might. I'll move this out of the way, and we'll put the bike together. How do I tactfully say this? If you suffer from bony butt syndrome. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to get everything together and just sit on that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nice. We're going to, going to start with the handlebars. And so I just take this off. Four screws, comes right off. The handlebars are all set up, so it's just uh, screw it on and it's good. This is left loose, so you can adjust 
I may adjust the handlebars later, probably will. The fender is sent loose, probably for shipping, but it's, there's just two screws here. Take those out. Just comes right down on there. In attaching the fender there, the front fender, just these two screws or bolts and this one. This one is also for the headlight. So this just slides in there, on there, and then these go in between these slots inside. I didn't show <coughs> screwing on this guard for the derailleur. It's just two, two bolts. They, you back those out, set that on, set it on, and then just screw them back in. Pedals are pretty straightforward, marked right, and they put it right on, on here. And it has a right-hand thread. The left side will have a left-hand thread. Come on, there you go. All right. You do that. Let's put on this front tire. So this is just for shipping. Just a couple of nuts to take off, or one anyway. Pull that out, comes right off. Pretty much you're just going to dispose of this. <clears throat> Again, there's, a, there's all a, a key right here in between the, the pads for the brakes. Pull that out, voila. <laughs> and then, <coughs> excuse me, the tires have these protectors on here. They just snap right off. Throw it on the floor for Kaya to take away. Okay, so you just line that up in there. This broke off the plastic piece. Get off of there. There we go. Sits in there just like that. Then you take the skewer. I'm going to take this off. Has one nut, you take that off. Two springs, cone springs. The narrow part goes in towards the hub. Run that through. Put it back on on the other side. Then you just kind of have to experiment with this part, getting uh, you're tightening the screw on this side. This is going to be a, you just clamp it down once you get the right tension. Just run it right up along here. There we go. Quick release. So if you want to take the tire off or whatever. Battery removal, just a key in there, turn it, and it releases just a little bit, and then there's a release lever here. Allows the battery to drop down. You just have to pull it up. Let's see. It's fairly heavy. <laughs> there's a little button you can test to see if there's any life in the battery. Put it back in, you just reverse, you set the bottom in first. And then 
snap it in place, and then turn the key the rest of the way and you'll feel it go as far as it can. Come back an eighth turn or so. And you can remove, oh, all the way down, then you can remove the key. Then it's locked in place. One of the last items is the headlight. It has just a quick connect. You just line up the grooves. And simple as that, snaps in. Let's, um, so I also put on the bell. It just screws on. Pretty cool. We'll run through these controls. Throttle. This is your on power. Power on. Hold it down for like three seconds and it comes on. Headlight is on. To turn on and off the headlight, you hit the plus button for two seconds. Same to turn it off. Power assist, it, there's plus and minus. Currently it's on zero, so it's all pedal. One helps a little, a little more, all the way up to five. And this is the throttle. I'll just bump it. You can see it's chomping at the bit, ready to go. I'm going to turn that off for a minute because I don't want it taking off accidentally. Turn on the power. Headlight comes on, brake light. And again, hitting the plus button will turn that off. So with the light off, even when you use the brakes, your brake light comes on, which is a really great safety feature. Ouch. <laughs> okay, let's take this thing for a ride. Power on. We'll see what it's got. Woo, wow. All right, let's go for a ride. I'm just going to use the throttle. I'll, I'll paddle some maybe. Good acceleration though, I like that. Got it bumped all the way up to number five. Real comfortable ride. These hydraulic disc brakes are really, really nice. Looks like it tops out around 20 miles an hour. It's a pretty good little hill here. This will tell you if you're using full throttle or not.
here we go. Heartbreak Hill. <laughs> Definitely know it'll go downhill. It's, it's pretty cold out this morning. It's around 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Here we go, full throttle. Let's see how she does. Come on, come on, come on, dig down deep. Oh, it's gonna make it at 4.5 miles an hour. Heartbreak Hill made it. Oh, oh, that is great. I love that. Himoe, you didn't let me down. Beautiful. I'm going back to the shop where it's a little warmer. That's cool. Seven hundred fifty watt motor, seven speed Shimano shifter. Four inch fat tire bike, bike tires. The, uh, the D5 Himaway has a uh, an impressive uh, travel range of 60 to 80 miles an hour, depending on how much you pedal. Super, super good distance. It'll get you where you want to go. So the battery also has a UL certification for safety's sake. So that'll be a, a peace of mind. It also has a torque sensor in here as you're, uh, depending on the setting, between one and five of the power assist. If you're, if you're uh, pedaling and it sees that you need help, it will automatically kick in and give you that extra boost to get you up over that mountain. Albeit, I think this thing is gonna conquer uh, Heartbreak Hill anyway, with just, without pedaling, raw power. This is a, the plug-in <clears throat> for the battery charger. I think it charged pretty quickly. It was maybe um, a, a few hours from, from a dead battery. <laughs> also, the hydraulic brakes, they are incredible. Yeah, you could, uh, if you, it's not safe, but if you put the, your front brake on, you could actually lock it up, maybe bring it up into a front tire only. I wouldn't recommend it. I know I wouldn't. I'd be... I'd have an accident, but they are very, very good. They grab really quick and smoothly. Nice headlight. Again, you can hit the, uh, the power button two seconds, turns it off. Brakes, brake lights on the back. Nice luggage rack. I should have we got a crate for Kaya to put her on that. Anyway, uh, I really enjoyed this bike. <clears throat> I think over, I tried one of theirs last year, demoed it, and they've even made some more improvements on this one. Great bike. Hey, let's not forget the 750-watt powerful motor. 
It really pushes this thing along. This thing stops on a dime. I love it. It's a great ride. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the description in uh, uh, the link in the description box and check the uh, for the discount if you're interested in one of these the Ken's 60. Check it out. See you later.